Hello viewers, Namaste and welcome to Bend It Like LD. I'm very excited today to present this video, um, a 20 minute yoga for sports people, yoga for runners, yoga for athletes and um, a 20 minute routine that can uh, greatly help in strengthening and stretching those major muscle groups that are involved in any strenuous or vigorous sport activity. And this is um, uh, the routine that I follow exactly after all my long runs. So. Um, one can use this for recovery after a sport and um, as you can see we have a brand new location today and um, i am in london uh, for a specialist training in yoga for sp uh, sports anatomy and physiology and i thought why not use this opportunity to um, shoot some videos at st james park near the buckingham palace and today is a special day it also happens to be the queen's birthday so let's get started so I usually like to start my routine by uh, just putting my feet up the wall. So as you can see, I don't have a mat, I don't have a wall, and I've just completed a 5K run. So I'm just gonna grab a tree and put my feet all the way up the wall and just allow my body to relax first. This is a fantastic posture called Viparita Karani. It helps to bring the flow of blood back to your body and to help the um, uh, lactic acid reduction in the body that is formed usually during um, endurance sports and it's a fantastic way to gently stretch your hip flexors. I'm showing you a couple of options here so feel free, free to go ahead and um, uh, use any which might you know uh, find be beneficial for you. My personal favorite is to bring the soles of my feet together and just gently give a little pressure to my knees on either side to open up my hips first because our hips and quads do tend to get a bit tight and try and stay here for about maybe like three or five minutes and just let go completely and once you're done slowly bring your knees to your chest and slowly come up And all, I always like to start my routine by first squatting. So I always like to stay on my toes. So take your palms under your toes and spread your toes nicely first. And just try and stay here. You can always place your palms on either side of your thighs on the floor. And if you wish, you can also balance by placing your palms on your knees. This is great for stretching the back of your feet, the nerves. And slowly turn your knees out wide as much as you can try to bring the heels close to each other and once again squatting down and staying here this is great for strengthening your ankles for stretching the back of your feet stretching your toes and slowly bring your knees back together now simply drop your knees down keeping your toes flexed and some of you may be finding this a bit of a deep stretch this is excellent for preventing um, plantar fasciitis some of you may have heard that it's a pretty common occurrence when you um, do a lot of sport activities as you keep compressing the nerves and once you're done turn your knees out and untuck your toes and gently stretch out into child's pose so this routine is basically aimed at recovery and strengthening rather than over stretching so we're not really going to be over stretching the muscles we are focusing more on recovery and how to avoid the common injuries that are associated with endurance sports come on to your knees bringing your knees hip distance apart a couple of cat and cow stretches before we begin our routine so inhaling drop your back lift your chest and shoulders and as you exhale rounding your back and gazing at your belly about four or five times It's a nice sunny warm morning in London. I just completed a 5k run. So this is perfect for me and this is exactly what I do after all my runs. And once you're done, slowly take your palms, tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. Adho Mukhashwanasana. And once again, let's do a couple of heel raises here. You can always bend your knees, so don't overstretch. Keeping your knees bent or straight, depending on how you feel today. And press into your toes and do some heel raises. Lift your heels all the way up. Exhale, release. 
couple of more times exhale release and slowly lift your right leg up you don't have to lift the leg too high just keep working through the heel pushing the heel up towards the sky and try to keep the hips in line with each other the focus is not to lift the leg too high but to just stretch, stretch, stretch and strengthen the quadriceps pushing through the heel and this is my favorite too so I just walk towards my palms with my toes raised so that I engage my hamstrings this could be a little deep for some of you so what you can do is work the other way by walking your palms to your feet if you wish just walk your palms all the way to your feet keeping your knees soft and just slowly come up step onto the front of your mat feet together palms to your heart center as you inhale lift your arms all the way up pushing your hips forward and stretch back and as you exhale fold forward you can keep your knees soft or you can keep your knees straight and take your left leg all the way back now wriggle your left toes behind as much as you can pull up the back kneecap make sure the right knee is above the right ankle bring your palms onto your knees first and just stay there for a couple of breaths tuck your tailbone down draw your belly muscles in softly called as a runner's lunge and slowly drop the left knee to the mat now you're going to do a little bit of cat cow stretches here as well so keeping your knees uh, palms on your knees round your back first and as you inhale push your hips forward and arch your lower back so rounding your back push your hips forward arch your lower back slowly drop your right palm down lift your left arm up take a deep inhalation lengthen up your spine and as you exhale lateral bend towards the right side this is for stretching your psoas muscle in front of your left thigh you should be feeling that stretch on the left side and slowly release and lift both your arms up for Anjaneyasana variation gently push your hips forward you can either arch back or you can just stay there slowly bring your palms down moving for Ardha Hanuman Asana by straightening your right knee by lifting your right toes off the mat palms on either side of your right knee as you exhale fold forward towards your right thigh couple of options here as well if you have blocks access to blocks you can use or you can simply hold your toes or you can stay on your fingertips or you can keep your palms away from the floor as well so take any option that works for you feeling that sensation on the back of your right thigh all the way from your butt all the way to your ankle and slowly bend your right knee again place your left palm on the inside of your right foot push into your right knee and slowly bend the left leg take your palm behind now this could be a little intense for some of you drawing the left heel towards your left thigh and at the same time try to drop the right knee down as much as you can just giving a little twist in your runner's lunge stretching out the quads I'll show you another option in case this doesn't work for you you can stretch your left arm out as much as you can and slowly bring the left elbow outside the right knee so both will basically do the same function so if you feel too much of tightness you can always do this option so take the option that works for you slowly bring your both your palms on the inside of your right foot this is called as lizard pose uttana prishtasana again excellent for stretching out your psoas muscle your hip flexors if you can you can take your back knee off the mat the left knee off the mat and try to stay here and maybe you can drop your elbows on the mat if you want to feel a little more deeper stretch gazing ahead of your palms keeping the back knee lifted up engaging your back leg completely pushing into your toes and slowly come up taking your right leg all the way back to a high plank two options either chaturanga or you can drop your knees chest and chin down 
और यू कैन कम टू भुजंग आसना और अपवर्ड फेसिंग डॉग ऊर्ध्वमुख श्वान आसना pushing your pubic bone down tucking your tail bone down and exhale back to downward facing dog stay there for a couple of breaths and we'll repeat the whole sequence on the left side you can also pause drop your knees on the mat take a couple of breaths for recovery so do it at your own pace slowly bring the left foot all the way to the front wiggle your right toe stretch your right leg behind as much as you can pull up the back knee palms on your knees and just stay there allow your body to stabilize and slowly drop your back knee on the mat you can untuck your toes if you wish and get a couple of cat cow stretches so rounding your back straightening your elbows and as you inhale arch your back push your hips forward feeling that stretch on the right psoas muscle in front of the right thigh from the hip all the way to the knee three or four times maybe and slowly drop your left palm down right arm lifted up lengthening up your spine and exhale lateral bend towards your left side feeling that stretch all the way up hold breathing normally throughout the practice and slowly lifting both arms up for anjane asana as you can see it's a little slippery for me there's no mat but the grass feels great it's pretty cool and nice it's a little pokey but i'm having a lot of fun moving on to a half split by straightening your left knee completely taking your left toes off the mat and as you exhale folding forward towards your left thigh so options for you again taking your palms to the front or all the way down if you can you can hold your toes your palms can stay off the mat take any option that works for you and slowly bring your right palm on the inside of your left foot and slowly push your hip forward bend the right knee if you can grab your ankle do that grab your toes towards your right hip open up the left shoulder and twist up towards the sky at the same time try to drop the left knee all the way down by lifting your coming on to the outside of your left foot you can also press your palm on the inside of your left knee for a deeper stretch and slowly release bring both your palms on the inside of your left foot i'm showing you the other option here stretching your right arm and taking your right elbow outside the left knee once you're done bring both your palms on the inside of your left foot for the lizard stretch if you can you can take your back knee off the mat feel that opening in your hips a lot of engagement of the hamstrings quadriceps if you're comfortable drop your elbows on the mat look ahead of your palms slowly come up taking your left leg back to a plank to chaturanga and upward facing dog I like to stay in upward dog also for about 15 to 30 seconds you can move your shoulders and hips it feels very good on the back it stretches out the op it opens up the front of your chest very nicely and slowly come to downward facing dog and take a few minutes here to relax drop your knees on the mat spread your knees out wide and stretch your arms on the floor relax completely and we'll move on to a slightly more deeper stretch paschottanasana slowly bring your right foot to the front in between your palms and walk your feet slightly closer to a medium to wide stance take your left foot to a 45 degree angle both hips facing to the front 
this is an amazing stretch i really love this this is my go to pose whenever i feel tight on my hamstrings lifting your arms all the way up and fold forward halfway first bringing your upper body body parallel to the floor breathing normally your knee can be slightly you can also have a slight micro bend in your knee stretch out nicely and if you want to go deeper slowly drop your palms on either side of your right foot dropping your entire palm on the mat feel that stretch all the way back if you want to go further deep you can turn your palms out towards your back foot this will engage press into both your heels very firmly engage both your feet slowly bend the right knee and wrap your right arm behind your right shin and take your left palm about 6 inches in front of your right foot and slowly lift the left leg all the way up straighten the right knee if you can again the focus is not on lifting the leg too high but in keeping your hips in line with each other pushing through the back heel engaging your quadriceps and slowly send back this is great for strengthening your legs stretch the right leg up and release moving on to the other side bringing your left foot forward for pashvottanasana first walk your right foot in bringing your right foot to a 45 degree angle slowly come up hands to your hips first both your hips are facing forward lift your arms all the way up inhale deeply as you exhale fold forward halfway first back absolutely straight if you can head in between your arms staying here if you wish and maybe if you want to go a little more deeper drop your palms down you can your palms can also stay off the floor keeping the left knee straight you can have a slight micro bend if you tend to hyper extend your knees which i do and for a deeper stretch turn your palms out behind your calves, your hamstrings, your glute. This is great for stretching out your piriformis muscle, your sciatic nerve. And moving on to taking your arms behind your left shin. Lifting your right leg all the way up. If you can, straighten the left knee. Come on to your right fingertips. Push through the right heel, pointing the heel towards the sky. Keeping your hips level. And slowly drop your right leg back and take your left leg back to a plank first you can either do knees chest and chin down or you can do chaturanga your choice inhale up top and as you exhale vertebra by vertebra rounding your spine and coming up to downward facing dog mountain pose Feel that deep opening in your legs. And stay in child's pose for a couple of breaths. Relax. And whenever you're ready, slowly come on to your knees first. Bring your knees hip distance apart for Ushtrasana or Camel Pose. So one option is just to take your palms behind your hips. Push the hip forward slightly and just roll the shoulders back and stretch up. Keep your head neutral. Keep your neck relaxed. If you think you want to go further deep down, keeping your hip forward, slowly drop your right palm down first. Hold your right heel. Maybe if you can, drop your left palm down as well. Holding both your heels and keep working on pushing the hips forward, rolling the shoulder blades back. Those who wish can drop the head back down completely as well. If you do not have any vertigo or spinal issues, you can drop your head back completely. Once you're done, slowly bring your palms back to your hips and come out of the posture very, very softly and slowly. And slowly sit on the mat. Stretch your legs out in front of you. For a wide Baddha Konasana twist, bring the soles of your feet together. Walk your feels a little away from the body. Take You can either hold your ankles, you can take your palms under your toes if you wish. And as you exhale, fold forward all the way down, reaching with your chest forward. You can also stretch your arms on the mat. Or you can also push your knees down gently with your elbows. Activating your parasympathetic nervous system here. And 
if you want you can also explore the full range of motion by bringing the soles of your feet closer to your pelvis and folding forward completely you can round your back here as well breathing normally deeper exhalations and slowly come up and I like to finish my practice with Agni Stamba which is a deep stretch for my IT band and for my piriformis muscle I'll show you a couple of options I think this is very important bring the right ankle over your left knee so the first option is to simply stretch forward either stretch or if you can you can hold your feet and fold forward you should feel the stretch on the outer right hip if you want to go deeper bend your left knee as well bring the left ankle under your right knee knee over ankle ankle over knee and fold forward all the way down this could be quite intense for some of you it is intense for me as well but I, I, I like this because I can really feel that opening in the right side of my hip I'm a little tighter on my right side so I always try and do this after all my runs moving on to the other side stretching out reaching forward if this is one option otherwise you can bend your left knee as well this is called as a fire lock pose Agni Stamba bring the left ankle sorry right ankle under the left knee and lifting your arms up you can either fold forward halfway or you can go down completely completely your choice try to stay in all the poses for about a minute or so slowly come up and stretch your legs out turn around lie down on your mat it's a beautiful day I can the Sun is literally shining onto my face so we'll finish with a bridge pose so bring your feet hip distance apart and just raise your hips up you can also use your palms to support your hips or you can place your palms and you can interlock your fingers by squeezing your shoulder blades in trying to bring the elbows close to each other and you can also lift your right leg and bring your knees in line with each other just for strengthening your hamstrings a bit and once you're done slowly release and we'll end with a juicy twist for our, for our hips it's always as I mentioned before it's good to always end your practice with a twist with a spinal twist to release any stress from the system so take your feet as wide as you can and drop both your knees to the right side taking your arms at shoulder level if you want to go for a deeper stretch place your right ankle over your left knee now lift your left arm up and gently drop your right shoulder down and stretch towards the right side place your right palm on your right knee and give a gentle push towards the right knee and release moving on to the other side drop both your knees to the left side take your left ankle over your right knee and take your right arm up drop your left shoulder down and stretch towards the left side place your left arm on your left knee push it down slightly make sure your shoulders stay on the mat though and slowly release stretch your legs out and relax completely and you're all done a fantastic recovery after a vigorous sport activity yoga for sports